Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am Steph and today, oh my god, I am so excited because I received, yeah. <laughs> excuse my dog yawning, I received the new Obsession palette in PR from Artitude Cosmetics. Oh, I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Apparently, now is the time for Jace to start yawning. My voice is obviously sending him to sleep. So, guys, this palette here is the new Obsession palette from Artitude Cosmetics. As of the time I'm filming this, I don't have a price yet, but um, I will make sure it's in the description box below when I upload the video, because at that point I will know. Um, but yes, this is what you are getting. It comes with these three little leaves. How cute are these? <laughs> and the cat starts. Typical. And you do get this little card in, little leaf leaflet card whatever you call it, um, and it says obsession, the definition of obsession, one, the act or process of cutting off or removal, two, the separation or detachment of parts of a plant, typically dead leaves and ripe fruit. Just as the seasons must change and the leaves must fall, you too must shake off the stresses of life and put all the dead weight behind you. Couldn't agree more. Let the trees show you how beautiful it can be to let go. It's time to cut off, detach, and to let go of everything that has been holding you back for far too long. This is your journey. It's time to grab life with both hands as you transition into the closes, into, into the closes? As you transition into this new chapter, remember when one door closes, another one opens. Sometimes only by letting go can everything fall into place. I love that. And on the other side, it says it's time to let go. It's time to value yourself by letting go of the things that no longer serve you. Let go of unhealthy mindsets. Let go of self-doubt. Let go of toxic relationships. Let go of negativity. Let go in peace. Look ahead in gratitude. I hope that letting go will be part of your healing story because abscission is not just for trees. So the eyeshadow palette has 16 gorgeous eyeshadows with four unique textures, nine buttery, easy to blend mattes, three gorgeous high, high definition foils, two soft duo chromes with a subtle color shift and two metallic multi-chromes with an intense color shift. So that is that little leaflet that comes along with the palette. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the palette itself. So this is the outer packaging, it is inside a sleeve. So the sleeve here has the cutouts, um, just like in the last palette, the Maneater Untamed. Um, I love this, this way of doing things, that you've got the cutout, because essentially you have kind of the one picture and then to I I just think it's beautiful I love the little detail of the foil shine at the edge of the cutout stunning um and the little falling leaves you guys are saying to me come on hurry up I want to see the color story just a moment um so this is the outer patching of the palette itself it is gorgeous I love that you've got the leaves over the face the colors in there are colours that are in the palette which I love I love that and obviously the name Obsession I've read the definition to you there it's gorgeous when we open up the palette you've got you've got this decent sized mirror and it says everything will fall into place you've got little leaves around the edge um, I'm trying to hold it so that I don't blind you and then guys, this is the colour story. How beautiful is that? It's just a stunning autumn fall, whatever you call it, wherever in the world you are, autumn fall colour story. It's just oh, 
absolutely stunning and guys oh you wait till you see the swatches i will pop up the video that i did swatching um i will say the first part of the video where you'll see me actually swatching them donut here completely forgot to swatch this shade here renew um but in the little video where i'm showing you the swatches afterwards and in the pictures this is swatched right at the beginning <laughs> i i have no idea what i was thinking i i think i saw the greens got excited you know me i love my greens um but yeah, so I've done the swatches, which I will pop up in just a moment. Um, and obviously I created this look, which again, you'll see in just a moment. So as I said before, I was very fortunate to have received this in PR. I'm just so incredibly grateful. I think Rux has done just such a fantastic job with this palette. Every time I think she can't do better, she surprises me and in the best ways possible um i will make a point of saying that yes i'm a brand ambassador for attitude attitude cosmetics yes i'm on the pr list but long before i was a brand ambassador and on the pr list i have supported attitude cosmetics i have loved the products um I've bought most of them for myself and I have almost all the products that Artitude has come out with. Seriously, almost all of them. I think there's something like seven, seven or eight products that I don't own. And that includes all of the water activated liners. I think there's only six shades I don't have. I'm pretty sure. Um, so this is a brand that I have supported and loved for far longer than I have been on the PR list and been a brand ambassador. So my views, my feelings about the products um, are not just because I've received it in PR, if that makes sense. Um, I will always be honest um, and I will be honest and say that I have loved every eyeshadow palette that Artitude Cosmetics has brought out and until this one I had bought the previous one, two, three, four, four eyeshadow palettes myself. Um, I have the Colour Splash, the VIP Exclusive, the um, Phoenix, and the Anita Untamed. Crikey, my brain is mush. Sorry, guys. Um, but yes, those previous four palettes I bought for myself because I knew I'd love them. Well, obviously, the first one was my trial. But anyways just making my point that this is a brand that I have supported since long before receiving PR. That was a really long-winded way of saying that. But in case you're wanting to pick anything up, I do have a discount code and an affiliate link with Artitude Cosmetics, which I will pop in the description box below um, for if you're wanting to have a look and get a discount. Um, it is affiliated, so if you do use my discount code or my affiliate link, thank you so much. You are supporting me and my channel, and I'm incredibly grateful. Um, so yeah, I think, have I got through everything there? I do believe so. So guys, if you want to see swatches of this beauty, I'm just going to open up again. See, these beautiful shadows here swatched out and then i'm gonna create this look then just keep on watching
Okay, so the first shade I'm going to be going in with today is Maple, which is this really beautiful kind of burgundy red. I am going to try to describe colours. Um, just bear in mind, it's not my speciality. Um, so I'm going to place this right in this inner part of my crease here. Is such a beautiful colour and having swatched these I can say that these mattes just are they feel beautiful and that is just applying beautifully please excuse my dog sighing next to me. <laughs> oh, this shade is the proper kind of fallen autumn leaves shade that I think of when I think of autumn fallen leaves. <laughs> As you do. Um, I wonder how close it is to... This is one of the, the leaves that came. Not far off, but deep. Ah, Steph, pay attention to what you're doing. Like the the deepest part of this leaf. I don't know how helpful that is, but that's what I went with. The shape is stunning. Just look at that. It's so rich, and it's not going patchy or anything and if I'm just rubbing against the edges it's just blending itself out that is such a beautiful shade so I'm gonna stop it just at that point there so what's that about three quarters of the way across two thirds two thirds we're gonna go with that um that is gorgeous okay that is looking beautiful and as you've probably noticed or if you haven't i am using artitude cosmetics brushes and um, this is from the first set and i'm using the kind of shorter fluffy but flatterish brush I don't know how you describe it, um, but I adore these brushes. That is stunning. I am loving how that's looking. I'll do the blending out shade afterwards. So next I'm going to go into leaves, which is this absolutely gorgeous green map. It is such a stunning colour. And I'm taking that on another Artitude Cosmetics brush. This is one of the slanted fluffy brushes. And I love these. And I'm going to be taking that just right in this. Look at that pigment. Right in this outer area here. That is absolutely stunning. Look at that shade. Wow. Okay, I I am loving this shade. This is such a beautiful green. So I'm just blending that up just to the same height that I blended the maple shade. And I'm smirking because it just took me like three attempts to say that sentence. Um, But it is blending itself up and out beautifully. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more and just bring the depth into the outer V more. And then just 
it to blend itself come out and I'm just very softly kind of tap tapping almost into the maple shade just to very slightly blend them I know they're not gonna create like a perfect blend but they'll mesh a little bit and that's absolutely fine oh, look at that. it is so pretty Again, just building it up just a little bit more and bringing that in what a gorgeous shade look at that and look how easy that blends it blends itself out I'm a sucker for greens as you may well know if you are not new to my channel greens are my thing and that is just stunning i'm just going to knit back into maple that first shade i'm just going to bring the depth into the crease and just kind of drag it into the leaves shade just to kind of assist with kind of meshing them a little bit yeah Okay, so just because I'm trying to use as many shades as possible, I'm gonna, I don't need to blend these out with anything, but I'm gonna. Um, so I'm first gonna go into Renew, and I'm gonna use another Artitude Cosmetics brush. This one is a fluffier, slightly longer brush. Again, I'm really not good at describing things. Um, but I'm just gonna take that just on the edge of maple there, just just to blend, just so that I can say I have used more shades, just so I can try them. And as expected, that blended beautifully. So I'm gonna go into New Beginnings to blend out the green leaves and I'm going to use I'm going to throw my mirror on the floor I'm going to use another one of the slanted fluffy brush f fluffy brushes from the same Artitude brush set um, I did get a couple of a few of these brushes just because I love them so much and Again, this is just blending out beautifully. No issues whatsoever. How easy that was. And that is looking gorgeous. So I'm just going to again go in with the first shades. So maple and just make sure I'm kind of blended out that depth. Beautiful. And then back in with leaves. Just to, again, make sure that the kind of vibrancy and depth of that shade is not lost. Beautiful. See how easy these mats are to work with. I mean, I was expecting, fully expecting, to love the shadows. Um because i i love all of the other attitude cosmetics palettes i have i love the performance of the shadows and eyeshadow palette wise i bought all three of the others myself and this is the first eyeshadow palette that i've received in pr from attitude and i do have to say that although I didn't think not that I didn't think possible at all but you know what I mean I, I was expecting them to be amazing but these mats are just completely blending themselves okay so because I want to use more shades I have in my head what I'm doing okay so 
I am first going to go into transition, which I think you can see the shift just in the pad. Look at that. I'm going to go in with that on the outer part of my lid. This shade, oh, guys, when I swatched this, I was blown away completely. I'm barely touching. I have got no glitter primer on. I did not spray this brush. This, oh, look at that, is absolutely stunning. And that was so easy to pick up on the brush too. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, that is beautiful, guys. Ooh. That looks absolutely stunning. And then, I'm trying to work out the shift. Hang on. Let's just put this on my finger. Look at that. So you've got like a, it's almost like a purpley blue blue purpley green it's got the brighter green animal grungy green oh, that is just i don't know if i'm gonna be able to is that gonna i don't know it's stunning let's pop it on the back of my hand here look at that that shade definitely has my whole heart it is so beautiful just yeah and then another gorgeous shifty shade and this is kind of like a rusty red orange like burgundy red orange I... it's so beautiful let me just swatch that quickly before i put it on just to show you look at that and again, it's got like a greeny shift in it as well. Look at that, like burgundy red to a brighter red with like a, a gold, goldy green. Oh, it is gorgeous. Again, not great at describing colors. But that is called Abscission, which is the name of the eyeshadow palette. So I'm using a flat brush from Artitude Cosmetics for this. Oh, look at that. Oh, and I'm not taking that right in because I do want to use another shimmer on my lid also. I'm just tapping it into the the green shimmer transition just a little bit but look at that again it picked up so easy on the brush look at that that is just gorgeous I'm just leaving that very inner part of the lid open just for the next shimmer look at that that is stunning absolutely stunning that is absolutely beautiful okay let's get a little a little flat brush and hmm, i'm gonna go into life which is this beautiful oh, shiny shimmer here and i'm going to place that just where i have left open
Whoa. Look at that. Just tap it into the edge of that position there. Guys, all of these, this is just how they're performing just with a dry brush no glitter primer no spraying i will be doing a lot more looks with this palette i will be doing more looks where i'm using like my finger to apply spraying the brush glitter primer just to really show what they can do with different bases but first off i just wanted to show what they could do all by themselves. I've been quite into that recently, but look at that. Loving it. I am loving how that's looking. So I'm just dipping back into Obsession just because I don't want to completely lose that from the middle there. These are stunning. You can really see that kind of rusty orange. I'm hoping that's showing in the, the camera actually because I'm really seeing the kind of rusty orange shift in that abscission shade. It's so beautiful. So just again, because I want to use some more, although I don't think it necessarily needs the depth, I'm going to add a bit more. So I'm going to go into Detachment, the black matte which I was impressed by the swatch of, so fully expecting to be just as impressed. Yeah, literally barely tapped in at all and then tapped the brush off. And look at that. I don't want to turn it like completely black. I just wanted to, so I just barely tapped in and I'm really tapping the brush off. Uh, sorry, that's Mr. Fluff making some funny noises in his sleep. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, I think you can see him behind me there. <laughs> He's getting on a bit and he makes some really bizarre noises in his sleep. Um, look at that. Gorgeous. <sighs> okay, I'm loving how this is looking. I'm going to quickly clean up under pop a base on so that we can go in with under eyes so just one moment okay so i have my base on now so going in for under eyes i'm going to go into journey which is this beautiful kind of tealy green shade it's stunning and i'm taking that on one of the smaller kind of fluffy brushes from Artitude um, from Artitude Cosmetics I do absolutely love these brushes Oof. look at that that shade is gorgeous I'm just going to kind of pat it on Closer to the lash line, and then I'm just going to blend it. That looks so pretty. That is so pretty. I'm just going to add a little bit more just on the outer part here. That looks absolutely. Stunning, look at that. That is such a beautiful shade. Mm -hmm. That looks beautiful. For the inner part of my lower lash line, I think I'm going to go into Seasons, which is the shimmer that kind of matches to that, that map. I'm just trying to use as many of these shades as possible because they are stunning 
they will do some simpler like looks more what a lot of people call cohesive looks um but for this first look i i just really wanted to try it as much as possible and just show you show you as many shades from the palette as possible well maybe not as possible because if i really wanted to i could probably fit every single shade but yeah i think that might be a little bit too busy it's like a tealy green with almost a brighter green shift to it i hope that that's showing up on camera because it looks absolutely stunning okay so in a corner and brow bone highlight i already know what i want to use for that and that is crisp just look at that how stunning is that shade and i know that's gonna look absolutely gorgeous so let's get the cat hair off my brush before i go put putting anything on um so let's pop crisp right here. look at that i didn't get all the cat hair apparently um <laughs> crikey and just pop a bit more look at that how beautiful is that is it perfect in a corner shade which I think also is going to look beautiful across the entirety of the lid. And then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that just up under my brow there. Just to highlight that. Oh, that looks so pretty. That looks absolutely stunning. Okay guys, so I'm going to nip off and finish my face. And then I will come back to show you the finished look and we'll have a chat, a few thoughts and wrap up. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm super happy with it. Um, before we continue talking, I'm just going to quickly let you know just a couple of the bits that I added that were also from Artitude Cosmetics. So the lashes, unfortunately I don't know the name of them, they were gifted to me from Artitude Cosmetics. I think they look beautiful. Um, the wing liner that I went in with is one of the K-Kit liners, uh, one of the duochromes and it is the shade Attraction. How stunning is that? And I think it just went so perfectly with this look. Um, for blusher, I used, oh crikey, one of the shades from the Obsession palette. I used Maple, obviously very lightly tapped in and tapped the brush off, but I think it went perfectly, obviously. Um, it was good, wasn't it? Um, on my lips, um, I did use a lip liner from um, Italia. Italia Deluxe? I'm not sure if that's the name. Um, but the lipstick I went in with was from Artitude Cosmetics from the Phoenix um, collection. And it's the shade Conquer. And this one here, these lipsticks are beautiful. They are so comfortable and silky. I love them. So, hello. I hope you're not going to mess up with the focus, Mr. Fluff. Um, so, just let's have a, a quick chat. I know I told you a lot at the beginning, but let's just have another chat now that I've created this look even though I'm going to be filming the beginning after. Oh my God, guys, this palette. I mean, let's just put it back in its sleeve for just a moment. So guys, look look at this packaging. How stunning is that? I love that you've got like the, the metallic-y edges to these cutouts and obviously in the writing absolutely gorgeous the colors that are in the palette i love that and then obviously 
in the cutout you can see the face and then this is what you get absolutely gorgeous this packaging is so beautiful i love that these colors are colors that are, are in the the palette it is absolutely stunning isn't it beautiful and on the back you have what does it say here's i haven't got my glasses on 16 gorgeous eyeshadows with four unique textures nine buttery easy to blend mattes i would have to agree three gorgeous high definition foils two soft duochromes with a subtle colour shift and two metallic multichromes with an intense colour shift. I am obsessed with this, absolutely obsessed. It is just so beautiful. Um, I love that on the mirror, I don't know if I can do this without blinding you, showing you my ceiling. Um, it says everything will fall into place. I love that. Hi Jace. This colour story is absolutely gorgeous and just such a beautiful full autumn colour story. It is absolutely stunning. So beautiful. The shifts in these, oh my god, they're just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Especially transition. This shade, I mean, oh. Just look at that. I don't know how much is going to show like that. But obviously you've seen me use it. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so obsessed with this. Um, there will be a multiple looks video coming very soon. Using the Obsession palette. I cannot wait to show you more looks. Um, but I did want to get this one done the video ready um for as soon as it is revealed so that i can share it with you guys because i'm super excited i'm so excited and rux artichoke cosmetics thank you so so much for sending this to me in pr i am over the moon it is so beautiful just wow just wow the shimmers wow guys Seriously, and um, I do have a discount code which is affiliated with Artitude Cosmetics. That is Steph10. I'll pop it on the screen now, but it will also be listed in the just listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate link to the Artitude Cosmetics website. If you do use my code or my link, thank you so much. Um, it is affiliated, which means I do, I do gain a small amount um, towards products from your purchase, um, but it doesn't affect your purchase in any way other than you get a discount. So if you do use my code or my dis my code or my link, my affiliate code or my affiliate link, thank you so much. You're really helping to support my channel. And yeah, thank you. Um, so yes, guys. I'm going to head off and probably go and play with this a little bit more, more swatching. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you are new here, if you've just come across my channel, hi, I'm Steph. I love colourful makeup. I love indie makeup. Just playing with makeup, just having fun. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in or you like what you've seen today, then please do consider subscribing. Come and hang out with me some more. I would absolutely love that. And again, thank you for taking the time to spend with me today. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it Looking like the world is your runway She can set it off like a gunplay Oh my, yeah Talk of the city with the body Always getting praised like it's Sunday